Miss Wanga. Yes. I dyed my hair. All right, let's see it. I. <laughs> it looks good. It's so so much darker. It's supposed to be dark brown, but you know. Is it? Does it have like a red tint to it? Mm. It could just be my screen. It kind of just looks like it has like a red, like a, you know, like that, like there's a dark brown that has like a reddish, you know, like you oh, can't just right. Yeah, it does have a red tint to it. My mom said it does. But I like it. Are you happy with it? I like it. Do you, are you happy with it? Yeah. Good. Good morning, everyone. We're going to wait another minute or so here. Yeah, yeah. It's my friend's laptop. She's trying to get history, but every time she clicks the link, it goes to biology. It's. All right. Is she sure she's in period two? Because I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but. <laughs> Zoe, you're cutting out a lot. And so you're dumb. Who, okay, wait. Who's trying to get in? She's trying to get into our Zoom. She's trying to get into Hi, Eli. It's good to see you. Could anybody else tell what Zoe was trying to say? Okay. I wasn't sure if it was my end or her end or what. All right, Zoe, so you can chat me if you need to. I, I'm sorry, I don't know what you were saying. All right. Okay, they got it, whatever it is. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's week two. We've made it through the first week. Someone... Um, Someone in my other classes said to me last week, he goes, well, 
the first five weeks of remote learning wasn't bad. He goes, too bad it was only five days. <laughs> so I think it was, a, it was a rough kind of five days there. So now that we have five days under our belt here, I wondered, I wanted to talk to you about like, is there something I can do different for you? Is what we're doing okay, not okay? Just kind of give me some feedback if you could in terms of what I can do to make your life easier other than not giving you any work. So is there anything I can do differently for you guys? Uh, I think the big problem is just like that we're at home and not okay. like in like a because like how most people think of home which is like okay chill out relax this is my time off but when we're home doing work like hybrid was fine because we had some in school time yeah but this is like weird because we're home all the time so it just this is a different like outlook on it yeah i know that's rough i wish we were here a little bit too but hopefully the us come back in january we'll see Anybody else? Anything I can do differently? Okay, so if you do think of something and don't want to say it out loud, you can email me. I'll take any kind of criticism you want to give me. I won't take it personally. I really am just trying to do what's best for you guys, okay? So open, honest communication, and we will get through this. Sound fair? All right. Okay, so today, well, let's see, Friday, we talked about translations, right? Like moving up, down, left, and right, and all that. Okay, so I think only like five of you actually completed that homework. So if you didn't get that done, make sure you go in and do that. Remember, there were four Google Slides, a little activity on each one. That honestly won't take you very long at all. So make sure you go back and get that done, okay? Um, so today, Today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be looking at reflections. Okay, so we're going to look at reflections today. These are the notes that I put in your um, in Google Classroom. We're not going to cover all of these notes today. We're only do we're doing we're breaking it up because it can get a little overwhelming if you try to do too much of them all at once. Okay, so but we're going to talk about reflections today. We're going to look at the four on the left here. Okay, we're looking at the four on the left. Um, we're gonna deal with the two on the right tomorrow. Okay, so a reflection is when you flip a shape over a line of symmetry. So remember that line of symmetry is that special line that the stuff on the left is the same as the stuff on the right, and if when you flip flop it, it has that mirror image, right? So that's what we're looking at today, is reflecting, we're gonna do mainly points over lines of symmetry. Okay, so the, there are some coordinate rules. So there's rules that you can follow, but honestly, I think it's way easier to think through it logically than it is to try to memorize a rule or a formula, okay? So I'm gonna teach you logically and I'll explain the formula, but again, try to do the logic because it'll make your life a little bit easier, I think. All right, so the first way we're gonna look at is if we wanna flip something or reflect something over the x-axis. So remember, this is my x-axis here. So it starts at A, goes to A prime. So right now, if I'm flipping over the x-axis, I have to think about I am two units from the axis, right? That means when I flip over it, it also needs to be two units from the axis. All right, now, Think about my x's and y coordinates. Think about what's changing and what's not. Notice it didn't go left and right at all, right? It didn't change left and right, which means the x is exactly the same. What did happen though, is that it went from a positive two to a negative two, because it has to be the exact same number of steps away from the x-axis. So if a would have been up at five, it would have gone down to negative five. If it was up at 10, it would go down to negative 10. If it was at negative seven, it would flip up to be a positive seven. So what's always happening is my Y is changing and it's just the opposite sign. All right, so it went from two, two, and it became two, negative two. So we kept the X value, the Y value, then is just the opposite sign. What if I had the point 
let's say A is at, um, let's one, two, three, four. So negative four, negative two. If A is at negative four, negative two, when I flip it, right, when I flip it over the axis, it's gonna go here, and now it's gonna be at negative four, positive two. Is that okay? All right, next one. If we're flipping over the y-axis, so now remember this is my y-axis here, so now it's flipping left and right. Okay, so same idea. Notice that if I am one step away from the axis, I need to go one step away again. Okay, so now instead of it being at negative one, three, now it's at positive one, three. So my y value didn't change, right? The movement up and down didn't change, that's why the y value is exactly the same. My x value though is gonna be the opposite sign. All right, next one. Next one, we have the line y equals x. So let's think, of, let's stop and think about that line for a second. So y equals x, that means my slope is one and my y-intercept is zero. Meaning it's going right through the origin and then it goes up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, and, and so on. Okay, so this is the line y equals x. Okay, so we are going to be reflecting kind of diagonally here. Here's the rule, x, y maps to, it just flip-flops, y, x. Okay, now here's the logic behind it. Here's the logic behind this one. Notice in my equation, y equals x, that means y is equivalent to x, right? They're the, exactly the same, they are interchangeable. So we can just substitute one for the other, which is what we did here. We just flip-flopped them out, right? We substituted one for the other. So that's why I think logic works best on that one too. The last one I wanna talk about right now is y equals negative x. Okay, so now my slope is a negative one, still goes through the origin. So here it goes through the origin, it goes down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, and so on. Okay, so this time we still have the flip-flop, the y and the x, but they both need a negative sign because of this negative sign right here. Okay, so it says the opposite of x or negative, negative one x, right? So we would need negative signs here. All right, so at the top of the next page here, I put four examples for you. So if I wanna flip over the x-axis, I wanna flip over the x-axis, so I'm envisioning my x-y coordinate. So I have the point eight, negative one, so it's down here. So if it flips over the x-axis, what's not changing, the x or the y? If it's going from here to here, what's not changing? Go ahead, Rachel. X. Good, good. Okay, so the X is not changing, so that's why I kept my X, right? And my Y would just be the opposite sign, so instead of a negative one, it's a positive one. Good, so now what if, what if I wanna flip it over the Y? Okay, so here's my Y axis. What if I want to flip it over the Y? Now my Y is not changing. Now my Y is not changing, right? So therefore, here it is, my Y had to stay a negative one. And this time my X is going to be the opposite. So it's going to be negative eight. All right, next one, the rule is Y equals X. So I want to flip it over the Y equals X. So remember that means they're, they flip flop. Right? So I just need to trade places. So it's going to become negative one, eight. And then the last one is y equals negative x. So that means they're going to flip flop and they need the opposite sign. So they flip flopped here, right? So now I just need the opposite sign of that. So it's going to become a positive one and a negative eight. All right. So those are four kind of rules, logic that, that we're going to work through today. So what you're going to do, you're going to go into Delta Math. Okay, so go into Delta Math and you should have an assignment there for reflections. I think there's 10 of them. Okay, I want you to do those right now and then come, we're not leaving yet. Okay, so we're still gonna do more. So I want you to do those 10 on Delta Math. 
If you need your whiteboards, don't forget you have graphs on the back side. So you could plot points on your whiteboards if it helps you see it. Or just sketch something out on paper. It doesn't have to be an accurate drawing. Where's the delta math at? Um, hold on, I'm looking for it. I think it should be number 50. Can you guys see it? Something looks weird. two things in there, um, and they're both Google Slides. Just go to deltamath.com. Okay, thank Just you. Just go to, sorry. Let me know if I can help you.
Ms. Oanga, I have yes. a question. Sure. Um, can you help me with question one? Yeah, can you read it to me? What is the image of negative six, negative three after a reflection uh, over the y-axis? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna present here. Let me share my screen real quick. Wouldn't it be like positive six, positive three? Positive six, negative three. Oh, let's go. Cool. Because here, hold on one second. I'll show you. All right, so here's my axis, right? Yeah. So you have the point negative six, negative three right here. I'm flipping over the y axis. Okay. Right? So it's got to go this way. So now my x is going to be positive, my y is going to be negative. Ooh, okay. I knew that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay.
I'm done. Okay, just hang tight. A couple people are still finishing up. Miss Owinga. Yes. Can you help me again? Yes. Okay, so yours is the y equals x, right? Your line is y equals x. Is that what you're reflecting over this time? Yeah. Okay, so that means that they're interchangeable. So all you have to do is just flip flop them. So whatever the x was, you make it the y. Whatever the y was, you make it the x. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. All right, we're gonna move forward a little bit here. So what you're gonna be doing today, I'm trying to pull it up real quick. We're just gonna focus on reflecting over the x-axis, the y-axis, y equals x, and y equals negative x. All right, so I'll share my screen again. So I have another Google Slides activity for you. Okay, 
just like the other day, there's four slides. Okay, so on this first slide here, you're gonna be working with the blue. Okay, you're gonna be working with the blue and you're going to, first of all, you're gonna drag the point wherever it needs to. So there's a blue point down here, and there's an orange point and a yellow point. So you're gonna be dragging them wherever they need to go. And then, um, on the second slide, they're giving you six different graphs, set of points, whatever. So you're trying to decide is graph A or whatever is an A, is it reflected over the x-axis, the y-axis, or neither one? So you're just literally dragging the A, B, C, D, E, and F over to these three boxes. All right, then on the next one, you're trying to find, um, you're trying to find the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime, and then you're just dragging over the rule. So these orange, the ones that are in the orange or yellowish color only go on the bottom parts down here. Okay, so where it says D prime, E prime, F prime, and A prime, B prime, C prime, you're actually typing in coordinates, like the point one, two, or whatever it would be. Okay, then the last one here, they give you this graph and they give you a set of points that coordinate with this graph here. Oh, no, they don't. No, they don't. Um, they're their own. But you're actually just reading each name and deciding, are they true or all their, are they false? You don't have to correct anything. It's just true or false. All right. So that is your homework for today. So we still have 15 minutes. So you need to work on this for the next 15 minutes. Okay. So go ahead and get started. If you're not done with your delta math, I can't even speak. You're a delta math. Make sure you finish that first, okay? And then go and do the other problems. Stay on if you're not done with your Delta Math because I can help you if you need it. Sound good? Okay. I can leave if I'm done with my Delta Math? If you're, yes, if you're done, then you can leave and work on your homework. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, he did not care. <laughs> I know, Woo, he was out. <laughs> Okay, uh, see you later. Have a good day. For that third slide, do we have to type it in or drag the things over? For the third slide, only on the bottom where it says algebraic representation, do you drag things over. So for okay. the top six boxes, you actually type in there. All right.
Ja. 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 So the x stays the same, your y value becomes negative. So it'd be like negative six? And no, the, y, the x value stays the same. So it's gonna be six, and then negative four. Okay, so this is the same way. This next one's the same way, right? Flipping over the x-axis. So remember, your x's stay the same. Your y's have the opposite sign. So what's it going to be? Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Alicia, are you there? Yeah, sorry, I couldn't get to your screen fast enough. That's okay. Do you need help? Uh, no, I think I'm getting it. Okay, if I can help you, please let me know, okay? Okay. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you, you too. Can you help with the next one too, please? Yep. All right, let me refresh it so I know which one you're on. Okay, so on this one, it's the exact same thing as the one before. So you're flipping over that x-axis. So you're flipping up and down, which means it's just your y that's changing. Okay, so your x is going to stay the same. Okay. And then your y is the opposite sign. So positive 5. No, the x stays the same. So it's going to be a negative four. five. Negative five. I hate this. Negative five and then a positive one. Yep. So if you look at my screen here, Lauren, what is it? 13. Uh, okay, so then when it says y equals negative x, what do they mean by that? Okay, so that means you're going to flip flop your numbers and give them the opposite signs. 
So uh, negative five would be positive five. So now it's going to become, you're going to flip flop both of them. So it's going to become six, five. Because we have to do, we have to change their positions and give them the opposite signs. Okay. And then for the reflective reflection over the x axis would be mm -hmm. negative three, positive five, nine, I mean. Nine. Yep, you got it. Yep. Let's play. Negative three, positive nine. Next. Flip flop. Negative eight. Negative six. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. What's the other? What? How's that wrong? I got it wrong. So did you type in negative three, positive nine? Brenda, are you doing okay? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Anthony. Uh, I have a question. Sure. Is like the X and Y for like the homework, can that also be Y equals X? Or you just want it to be Y, Y, or the Y axis and X axis, like normal? I'm confused as far as your question goes. So there's a second slide where it says reflect it over the x-axis. All right, hold on. I'm pulling it up right now. Okay, and then there's also one that's reflected over the y. Okay. But like, one of the, they would work if it was like y equals x. Y equals x is like a diagonal line. Yeah. All right, so which one specifically are you asking about? They're like, because for like the for like b okay how it's the right, so y is in front of yep so then that's a y equals x you're correct so that's neither the x-axis or the y-axis so it'd be under neither okay okay that's my question yeah i'm sorry i don't know if you're doing nope this is just, nope, this one is just asking about y and x okay cool all right thanks sure all right, see ya. Bye. All right, guys, I have to go to my next class. I hope you have a good day. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Deuces. <laughs>